from Oakland, California, and it's really nice to be back in the hood. <laughs> so um, I have an ongoing list called This Shit Ain't Normal, and since I have limited time, I'm going to give you the bookends. Number 10 on the list, number 1 on the list. Number 10 on the list of This Shit Ain't Normal is the rapid transit line to nowhere. <laughs> of, uh, the rapid transit line is going out to the SkyTrain, going out to the University of Manitoba. And they estimate that that phase will be completed somewhere between 2020 and 2025. <laughs> so I guess by the time I get early retirement and decide to go back to school, I'll be able to take a SkyTrain. <laughs> but by then, of course, I'll have a shot liver. And I'll be waiting for phase three that'll take me to my AA meeting. <laughs> so number one on my list of this shit ain't normal has got to be pants on the ground. I'm sure everyone is familiar with this phenomenon of men wearing pants below their butt cheeks. That shit ain't normal. <laughs> now that shit happened to start in Oakland, where I came from. And what confuses me is that hood rats have to be one of the most homophobic demographics on the continent. And that makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. When you're gonna make your fashion statement to the entire world, easy access pants. <laughs> <laughs> so you have your pants already halfway down to the ground, a really thin layer of fabric is barely covering your asshole, and you're gonna wear a top that looks more like a dress. <laughs> I ain't no fag, I ain't no faggot, I hate fags, I hate faggots. No, basic psychology 101, stop talking. <laughs> Who are you trying to convince? <laughs> so there's three things that make me think that this whole homophobia thing in Oakland is a piece of bullshit. One is Gwen Stefani. From Chris Rock to roughneck OGs, original gangsters, roughnecks love Gwen Stefani. I personally was on the corner of Fruitvale and Fairfax in deep east Oakland. That's kind of like being on Maine and Higgins. 3 a.m. <laughs> and saw the most pimpin' chino car with this grill rattling to Gwen Stefani. 3 a.m., he thinks that nobody's seeing him, but that's a bag of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, I took a poll. So every straight black man that I met in Oakland, I asked them if they had ever had any sexual encounters with other men. Over 70% said yes. Most of them didn't realize that they were messing around with a man at the time. They thought it was a woman. <laughs> but when they kind of, you know, felt some extra bits there, they didn't stop the action. That's some bag of shit. <laughs> Number three, over 10% of the black population, That's male black population over 40 in America, is incarcerated. You do the math. You're getting it up with the ass anyway, you might as well admit it. <laughs> that is some faggot shit. So there is one place in the US that is genuinely homophobic, and that is Utah. In Utah, they lynch homosexuals. So I was telling my hood rat friends, as far as I'm concerned, anyone getting else getting lynched is more your friend than your enemy. So I say, love your faggot friends, and pull your pants up, because <laughs> that way you'll be able to run from the popo. <laughs> if you'd like to check out any more of my antics, you can go to YouTube and uh, look up Stephen Harper's Pregnant Mistress. <laughs> that bastard knocked me up, and he's going to pay. Wow. <laughs> Keep it going for Michael, everybody! Yeah.